in Africa. We see a lot of uprisings, planning for uprisings, plotting for uprisings in several African countries. The events on the African continent, therefore, as predicted much earlier myself, in 2017, I said, before 2020, 13 African countries would have undergone either soft regime change, soft coups, or violent regime change through uprising which now seem to be real. The signs that and the symbols that we see are the real symbols and the signs that more is to come against African governments. What do we do then? There is a new method of changing governments strategically placed in the United States of America by George Soros. George Soros funds civil societies, civil disobedience, civil violence in Africa. It is upon you Africans and African heads of state, African heads of state, wherever you are, as you convene, as you plan to convene next month or before the end of this month in Addis Ababa, to understand the magnitude of this regime change strategy. Many wars are taking place, internal strife conflicts like the one in Cameroon, Amazonia, like the one in Biafra, Boko Haram, and then in Biafra, like the one in Libya. But the theme is the same. Regime change, uprising. Is it a matter of taking over our resources? You see the war in Congo has erupted again. Unknown militias have arrived in Congo, restarted the war, and it is going on. All this culminates to one thing. Are we ready to be independent? As I said last week, or this week, are people in Africa ready to accept the results of elections? Elections everywhere in Africa are bringing the chaos we see. The people of Africa seem to be divided after elections or before elections. Is Africa ready for elections? Do we need elections in Africa? If so, are we tolerant enough to accept the results? Are we ready? Which method? Can we use in Africa to make sure that there is hope for the countries and there is hope and the future of Africa is guaranteed? Viewers, the High Court in Malawi today or yesterday ruled was hearing a case when the president had already been sworn in. If the president of Malawi has been sworn in, then the High Court is hearing the case. Is that not a disaster? An accident in waiting? Whether this will make us have a peaceful Africa remains to be seen. And may God help us to build a better Africa. Thank you very much.